Wishing on a Yule pine cone is easily one of our most favorite traditions during this time of year in our celebrations of Yule. I'm sure a lot of you know what a New Year's resolution is, and this is pretty similar to that, just a little bit more fun. So let's go find some pine cones. purchase your pine cones at the store or even on Amazon if you do not have a pine tree near you or can't get out to a pine tree just adds a little bit more adventure and fun into it if I can go find my own pine cones and I don't just wait until just now um, to get our pine cones I actually like to look for them throughout the entire year and save them up for projects during the wintry season Okay, now that we have a dozen pine cones or so, we're gonna go in and we'll talk more about the traditions of the wishing cone and how to go about making them. Now that we are inside and we are warmed up, we are going to talk about the wishing cone, what it is, and how we're gonna put it together. Beginning centuries ago, people would write down their goals, their wishes, and their intentions for the upcoming new year on little pieces of paper. Sounds exactly like the New Year's resolutions that we are all very familiar with. When you're done writing down your wishes, you roll them up one by one and tuck them down into the little spaces of your pine cone, and then you cover them with wax. This holds the wishes in place, and then you place them into the fire. There's something that I appreciate about the process of the wishing cone more than I do just pulling random New Year's resolutions out of thin air, like I wanna lose weight, I want to um, get a raise, and just keeping them to myself in hopes that I follow through with those things during the new year. Somehow writing them down on this little piece of paper kind of puts it out into the universe, if you will, and kind of holds me accountable a little bit more than if I were to just traditionally create a new year's resolution and probably not stick with it. You can actually go big or small with this little tradition. You can do this by yourself or you could do this with a group of friends. I like to do it with the kids. They think it's really cool to write down their wishes and roll them up and put them into a pine cone and then watch them burn as we're playing games later on in the evening. We also like to bake our Yule log cake and celebrate by eating the Yule cake and having hot cocoa or coffee by the fire as we have our game night. Something else you can do if you want to add a little bit more oomph to your wishing cones, something I like to do personally, you can add herbs that hold properties for good luck and prosperity and money or fertility, depending on what your, your wishes and inspirations and goals are, add herbs that coincide with the things that you are hoping to achieve for the new year. I personally like to add cinnamon and clove to my wishing cone as those hold properties for good luck and fortune. You could also add things like lavender or bay leaves or ginger. It is completely up to you. The things you're gonna need are pine cones. Now, like I said outside, you can source these through Amazon or at your local store. I will put down in the description where you can get them on Amazon. My kids are in the background. You will also need some sort of wax. I like to use a beeswax. You can use melted down candles. It is completely up to you. And you're gonna need some sort of natural string. I like to use baker's twine, but I have also used hemp string and either one of those are a really good option. You're gonna need little scraps of paper and it doesn't matter. I have some brown crafting paper that we use to package up orders or send things in the mail and I like to use those little brown pieces of paper and just rip them into strips and that's what I write my wishes on. So the first thing that you're gonna do is get your wax going on a double boiler. I just like to use a little um, singular coil burner and a pot of water and I use an old candle holder jar that used to have a candle in it and I put my wax in there and get it melted down. While your wax is melting, you are going to take your strips of paper and you are going to create your wishes, your inspirations, your goals, anything that you want to achieve for the new year and write them down. You can have one, you can have as many as your pine cone will hold. Not all of these have to be big, huge goals. These can also be really simple wishes as well. I do a combination of all of them and like to stuff my pine cone with a variety of goals and wishes for the upcoming year. 
Once your wishes are written down and your wax is melted, you are going to prepare your pine cone so you can stuff your wishes into the little spaces of the pine cone and get ready to coat them with wax. First, you're going to start by using your string and wrap it around your pine cone. I like to tie mine in the middle just to create sort of a wick as you would see in a candle and wrap it around on both ends through the pine cone Go until it sticks and holds itself into those blank spaces. And then you will begin dipping it into your beeswax. Do this two or three times till you get a good coating. Then you put your little rolled up pieces of paper into the blank spaces of your pine cone. I like to dip the little pieces of paper with the wishes on it into the wax and then stick it into the pine cone. It just helps it hold there in place a little bit better. As you are doing this process, just take a minute to think about each wish that you wrote down and think happy, positive, good thoughts about each one of them just to bring that positive energy to each one of them for the upcoming new year. Your pine cone will look something like this, have all these little wishes poking out from the sides of it. Once you have your wishes completely stuffed in the entire pine cone, you will dip them into your melted wax one more time just to ensure that your wishes stay nice and put into your pine cone until you're ready to burn them. Just dunk them down with your wishing papers poking out of the empty spaces where you put them, you'll see that you'll have some wax build up at the bottom of your cone and it's okay, once it dries, you'll be able to snap that part off so it won't look terrible. And these are what they look like, completely finished, coated with your wishes in the pine cones. Now for that extra step, if you wanna add a little bit of extra herbs to them, we like to put little tags on them so we know whose is whose. Here you can see I've got my cinnamon on it and in between those blank spaces you can kind of see where I've poked little clove pieces in and we've got our tags on them. I think these are really adorable and it is a really fun way to come into the new year with good intentions. Next you place it on your fire and you just sit with it for a minute and think about everything that you wrote down and how you're going to achieve those goals and what you can do during the new year to make yourself the best version of you.